We're doing something a little different this weekend. We're racing the Cherokee National Enduro. Uh, I'm running the Citra Vintage class. Uh, first time that they've started this class, so we're uh, looking forward to having a go. On our road, uh, we've got Zachary Page. He's running the 30A class. Jeff Wilkerson, he's running the 55A class, and Blake Nelson, he's running the 251 C class. If you're not familiar with the Enduro format, uh, there's, uh, I'll be doing five tests. Uh, this is test one, and the clock, as you see in the background, we're on row 64, when it hits 64, it's time for us to go each test. We'll, the clocks are synchronized, so when it hits 64, it's time to go. So let's go racing. You'll do the five tests, uh, well, five for my class, uh, and then you'll add up all the scores for each test, and whoever has the fastest time wins. Uh, some of the classes do six tests and some of the classes do seven tests. So uh, depending on what class you're running as to how many tests you do. The two guys in the A classes that's on our road, they, they pretty much got out away from me every time. So uh, most of the time I was kind of running running along kind of at my own pace uh, this is a little different than the cross country uh, or, or hair scrambles the hair scrambles you know you're racing uh, you start with your class and you race and uh, a lot more battling uh, the enduros uh, different classes start on different lines so you kind of on your own and you don't know how you're doing you're just kind of racing the clock uh, I probably tend to do a little bit better when I'm racing the hair scramble and actually have got people that I'm racing around. Sometimes in the Enduros I seem to want to uh, get the trail riding and uh, I don't have a carrot in front of me to try to keep up with. And so that's something I need to work on, trying to uh, race hard, race the track and try to keep going fast when I can. That was Daniel Brindle, uh, he's running the B40 class, he started on the road behind me on 65 and uh, get here to uh, this log that was across the track and he hopped right on over it and I made a pretty wimpy attempt to try to get over it, pretty pathetic. Had to back up here again, but Usually on the test, uh, the same 
people would use to pass you, usually it would be uh, first one to pass you would use it be the first one to pass you on most of them. And usually, if the one the people that I passed, uh, I'd usually catch and pass the same people. Especially on the longer tests, some of the tests were about half as long. So uh, on them tests, uh, sometimes wouldn't two people pass me, and sometimes I wouldn't pass but a couple. So. Okay, this is the beginning of test number two. The trails on uh, these Enduros are usually a good bit tighter than the uh, hair scramble courses. Uh, a lot more physically demanding. Uh, just because it's so tight. Also, this uh, this area of the state seems to be a lot of uh, gullies and everything, so uh, that throws a little little bit of excitement in there from time to time. Probably one of the more flowy bits that, that I, for me it was. Wasn't quite as tight.
this is the beginning of test number four. Uh, I didn't get no video number three. Uh, between the tests, sometimes you travel uh, up and down roads to get to uh, different sections. And I made the wrong turn between two and three. I actually went up to the gas stop and talked to somebody, realized I was in the wrong place. And by the time I got back to the start of number three, I was over five minutes late starting. So uh, kind of got a delay on that. I didn't have time to swap batteries. So uh, I swapped it out here at the beginning of test number four. We'll see how TS4 does. It was starting to heat up. Uh, I think it was in, in the 90s today, so uh, I think there was a lot of people that was uh, having problems with the heat, getting dehydrated, and uh, it was, it was kind of tough to test, getting but when you're sitting around between tests, uh, it can be pretty rough. That was actually Jordan Smith. He was always the first one to pass me at every test. Uh, he was running a 30B. I think he finished uh, eighth in the 30B class. So I think he had a good day. There was a lot of these classes. Had a lot of people in it. That was Daniel Brendel. He was always the second one to pass me. Uh, he was running the 40B class and he finished second in his class, so he had a great day. This is the start of test five. Nice cool spot for everybody to sit. That's when you get into the line, the, uh, the Zachary uh, page there on the left. That was on my row, I think he was running the 30A class and he finished seventh in his class. Don't know what happened to Jeff Wilson. He didn't show up on the third, uh, the fourth or the fifth test. So don't know if he had bike problems or what happened. And then uh, Blake Nelson and the other guy on our row, the C251 class. I think he ended up twelfth in his class. So this is the last test that I had to do. Uh, before the race, I had kind of planned on doing uh, six tests uh, just to kind of see how I would would do against some of my other buddies that was racing in other classes. And uh, after I missed the, the turn, getting to test three and was over five minutes late getting there, I decided that once this test was over, just go ahead and 
quit because that was all I had to do and I head on in. I think this was probably the longest straightaway on the whole part of the race. Uh, I'm scared to kind of get into it too hard because it, they don't. There's not many spots that they open it up this fast, so it's like like you're expecting it to be like a short turn here. Uh, but you could really stretch it out here, and uh, they actually done a great job of marking the trails and everything. Uh, had good airs and. Uh, as long as you can kind of keep the eye on the airs, you kind of knew which way you needed to go.
this was after test five. Uh, if I had been going to do test six, this would have been the way to go to test six. But I decided to go ahead and call it after five. That was all I had to do. So I was headed back to the start finish area. I appreciate everybody watching and uh, getting back in here at the beginning of the uh, start finish and get to see the lovely smiling face of my beautiful wife. So we will see y'all at the next go around. Thanks for watching.